off the balls are short of the fifth. He's gone! Forgot to mention before the video begins and we talk about Kevin Mandelis and Jonathan Aspro. Great signings by the Ottawa Senators, by the way, but welcome both to Ottawa. I wanted to give a quick mention to the Best of Seven podcast, our new podcast. All episodes uploaded tier, and they're also on platforms such as SoundCloud, Spotify, Apple, Google Play. All the options, you got it. So make sure to check it out. In episode number four that was dropped yesterday, we had Brendan Mackey join the show. Silver Seven Sends writer and, of course, host of the Intro Budget podcast. Make sure to check it out. Great talk. We were talking about even about our favorite beer, our favorite types of food to eat at the ball, park etc make sure to check it out lots of sense memories in that one now let's get into today's video welcome to sense talk my name is brandon and i am your host before we get started please follow us on twitter at sense talk underscore for the dates of the games and of course breaking news as well please check out our sponsor seekgeek.com Download the app on the App Store and use your promo code SENSTALK. You'll save $20 US off your first purchase. And now I know you cannot use the code at the time. But once the time comes to be able to use the code, once fans are allowed back in stadiums, be sure to use the code. Now, speaking of the reason for why fans can go into stadiums, COVID-19, I hope everyone watching this is at home, staying safe and healthy. Now, today the Sens made two signings, and they're both pretty interesting. A goaltender and a really crowded goaltending uh prospect field and a defenseman who the Sanders have been keeping a close eye on for a while so like in the Mark Kasselik video I will read the the, um, the statements and the the news released by the Ottawa Sanders organization then I'll give my take on both so let's get into it the Ottawa Sanders today have signed defenseman Jonathan Aspro to a two, three-year entry-level contract a native of Mass Mascouche Quebec, Aspro, 20 years old, spent the 2019-20 campaign, his first ever professional campaign, skating for the American Hockey League's AHLs, Belleville Sanders, and registered 16 points, 2 goals, 14 apples, and 39 penalty minutes, over 44 games played with the Belleville Sens. He ranked third among team defensemen and tied for six among the B Sens in total, with a plus four, a plus minus rating of plus 14. That's pretty good. Uh, here are some... Um, Quotes by General Manager Pierre Dorian. Jonathan is a player with credit to our amateur scouting staff that we've kept tabs on since uh, he was a development camp invitee in 2018. Uh, said General Manager Dorian. He long demonstrated great hockey sense and exceptional exceptionable, uh, determination to the point where he became a regular among Belleville's defensive corps last season. His progression has collectively indicated to our hockey staff that he's become a legitimate National Hockey League prospect. Completely agree. Uh, I'll get into it after, but Aspero since 2018 has impressed. Um, he was invited to back-to-back -back invite, invite camps, and then he also got opportunities with the Sense Prospect tournaments. He's really, really shown that he can play. Um, undrafted, Aspro originally uh, signed to a two-year, two-way AHL contract at the beginning of this year, season. Um, for the 2021 season, uh, is automatically voided upon the signing of the entry-level contract with the Ottawa Sanders. Prior to joining with the Pref into the professional leagues in the AHL, NHL, etc., Jonathan Aspro spent his entire major junior career with the Quebec Major Junior Hockey League's Moncton Wildcats. Over three seasons in Moncton, he recorded 73 points, 22 goals, 51 assists, and 167 penalty minutes in 188 games. He was invited to the Sanders annual development camp following both the 2017-18 and 2018-19 seasons, like I said just a minute ago. So basically, this move is a solid move for Ottawa, uh, with a lot of uncertainty uh, in the defensive corps for the Sanders, especially with Jacob Bernard Docker returning um, to North Dakota for one more year. No worries, he will resign with Ottawa. He he uh, signed with Ottawa, pardon me, he's committed to coming to Ottawa after this next season, but he wants to finish the chapter in UND, I can respect that. So Ottawa's defense in, uh, in the NHL is bad, and now Belleville is starting to get strained, so they want to keep it level. So it could be for that reason, there's also the potential that he could be a solid NHL player. In the Sanders Prospect Tournament, every single play, um, that every single time he was on the ice, uh, he was doing something positive. I really liked his game. Uh, I mentioned it um, during the Sense Prospect Tournament that I wanted Aspro to be on an NHL entry-level deal. He ended up signing an AHL deal and improved and impressed enough to get an NHL deal. So congratulations to Jonathan Aspro. Um, he's obviously going to be in Belleville next year, um, but he has the potential to be a solid NHL depth defenseman, probably a second or third pairing type of guy uh, with some offensive potential. Uh, overall, Sanders has bolstered their defensive depth, uh, gives them some options, and now it helps less the, lessen the strain on Belleville for the next 
three years. And hopefully us, bro, this inspirational undrafted story from just playing fully in QMJHL to getting invites to the Sanders camp to getting an HL deal to now an National Hockey League deal. Congratulations to Jonathan Aspero. Hopefully the development continues and welcome to Ottawa, Mr. Aspero. Now the next end signing was goaltender Kevin Mendeles uh, out of... Um, Pardon me, of the QMJHL's Cape Breton Eagles. Like just before, I'll read the statement, then I'll give my opinion on, on it as well. So the Sanders today signed goaltender Kevin Mandelis to a three-year entry-level deal as well. Mandelis, at 19 years old, recently completed his fourth major junior season with the QMJHL's Cape Breton Eagles, where he led all QM, QMJHL goaltenders in save percentage with 925, while ranked third in goals against with uh, av- goals against average of 2.33. Uh, Kevin Mandelis was fantastic in the QMJHL last year. Uh, Sogard was good, really good last year. Kind of fell off this year with Medicine Hat, I believe. Um, and Mandelis has really stepped uh, stepped up. So it's either going to be Mandelis and Sogard as a starting goaltender in ECHL next year. Uh, but as well, Mandelis has the option to play an overage season with Cape Breton. And I, I, after a year like that, I don't think Cape Breton would be against that. So that could also be a potential. But we'll talk about that after the quote here from Pierre Dorian. So Bo- Dorian said, Kevin worked hard this past season to become one of the top goaltenders in the QMJHL. He's positionally sound, has good lateral mobility, and has proven adept at reading the play. Since being drafted, he's been diligent about understanding what he needs to do, what he needs to do both on and off. The ice to be ready to be a pro goaltender. He's shown an ability to make timely saves and with more seasoning should have an opportunity to secure to two secure wins for this team in the future, this team being the Ottawa Sanders. A native of Blainville, Quebec, Mandelis posted a 26-8-1 record while earning two shutout victories over 37 games in the 1920 campaign. He was recognized as the QMJ goaltender of the month for December and also earned an honorable mention for the months of January and February. He included the season by by the way of recording a victory in 18 of his last 21 appearances dating to December 28th. That's some Ham- Hamburglar type stuff right there. 18 out of 21 games he played in, he won. That's Dominic Kashuk type levels. Carey Price type domination. That's insane. Kim J. Chell, remember. But that's a good sign for a goaltender. In registering 86 victories to date with Cape Breton so far, he ranks him second among all-time Eagles goaltenders, while six shutout wins has him set third on the franchise's all-time ledger. Mandelis was the Sanders' sixth-round pick, 157th overall in the 2018 National Hockey League draft in Dallas. So I think overall what this means for Ottawa is Anderson is, like, I can, he's, like, he's retiring next year. Um, I have sources that tell me that. So basically with Anderson retiring next year, uh, very likely, um, now you have Nilsson and Hogberg as your starters next year with Joey Decord and um, you have Philip Gustafson as the goaltenders in Belleville. They'll battle it out there as Hogberg and Nilsson share the net here as we, it's a development year. Hopefully will be mediocre playoff contention. That's what I expect next year. Hopefully on if it's, if everything goes right, uh, if we even have a year to be honest. Um, but in the ECHL, now that opens up. Matt Sockard, Sogard is going to come to the ECHL, to Brampton, to the Brampton Beast. He will be the goaltender there. Now, will Kevin Mandelis opt out and go to the ECHL and start his NHL journey? Or will he stay in the QMJHL for an overage campaign? If I was him, I would probably take the leap to the pro and try to prove yourself right away. I don't see what else he has to prove in the QMJHL. He's been fantastic this year, putting up impressive numbers. And, you know, 18 out of 21 wins is nothing easy, uh, regardless of the level of hockey you're playing. Winning 18 of 21 games as a goaltender is, this shows a testament of how good you are. So uh, I would take my opportunity. i go to the ECHL. And battle it out with Matt Sogard, maybe even getting promoted to the AHL. I think if Sogard or Mandelis get promoted to the AHL and Gustafson or Decor drop, I'm not saying that's what happens, but if one of those two do that and leapfrog somebody in the, in the goaltending depth chart, that would be a huge win for them in the for their future in the National Hockey League. But overall, Mandelis, it's a really, really stacked, not stacked, but a really full cupboard of sense goaltending prospects. Mandelis really impressed us last year. And, you know, we have the space. If what I just said works out with uh, Nilsson, Hogberg, and Decord, and uh, Gustafson, and now Sogard, and uh, Mandelis, we have space for those six goaltenders. But overall, Sanders have a, a plethora of good goaltending prospects and I'm excited to see who really pans out and hopefully they don't mess up by trading guys like they did last time with Ben Bishop and Robin Leonard etc so hopefully we make the right decision this time but 
I'm excited to see for the future of Kevin Mandalese, and welcome to Ottawa, Mr. Mandalese. Uh, excited to see what you do and what you pick if you stay in the QMJHL for an overrich year, which I can see, or you go to the ECHL, which I think is more likely. Uh, but besides that, the Sands made a couple of nice signings today. Uh, probably the most hockey news we've had in the bout, for Sanders news anyways, in the bout uh, a month or two, a month. It feels like like three, four months, but it's been about a month since the Sanders were playing hockey. So, you know, overall, good signings for the Ottawa Sanders. And uh, if you haven't already, make sure to check out the Best of Seven podcast. Episode number four dropped yesterday with Brandon Mackey, uh, Silver Seven Sanders writer for SB Nation, and as well the host of the Internal Budget podcast. Make sure to check that out. I'll put it in the link description in the description uh, below with a link. So thank you all for watching. Please follow us on Twitter at Sensdoc underscore for live updates of the games and of course breaking news. Please like us on Facebook Sensdoc, add us to our circles. Go plus Sensdoc. Click the big red button down there and subscribe to us. Like this video, share this video, if share cool stuff. Please, please, please check our website sensdoccentral.com. We update that every single day, and of course our sponsor. It is SeatGeek.com. Download that from the App Store and use the promo code SENSOC. You will save $20 US off your first purchase once the time comes to be able to buy tickets. Everyone watching this, I hope you stay safe, stay healthy, and stay home. Let's beat COVID-19. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you Sunday for the next episode, episode number five of the Best of Seven podcast, or sooner if there's some SENS or National Hockey League COVID-19 related news. Thank you for watching. Stay safe. Stay healthy. Go SENS go.